guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go click that subscribe button and turn your post notification bells so you know when I post a new video. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put on acrylic tips at home. I got the Kiss brand, the Kiss acrylic tips, and then the Kiss color dip powder. Um, you can pick this up at your local drugstore. I got this at CVS. I know we're all in quarantine right now and we can't get our nails done, so we're struggling here. <laughs> um, but I had to find a little alternative because I could not do it any longer. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I put on my acrylic tips. I've never done this before. I kind of did like fake nails when I was younger, but nothing like this. I'm going to show you guys what comes in each package. I'm going to try to use everything that's here just in case like some people don't have other tools. I mean, I don't have really like anything that's crazy with nails, but I do have a nail clipper because I want to shape it into the coffin shape. And I'm going to show you guys how I get that look. So I'm going to strictly stick to these two things that I got at CVS. And I'm going to show you guys how it works. So if you like this video and you're excited to see how my acrylic tips come out, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned. So this is the acrylic liquid. This is the acrylic liquid. And I have a bowl here. I'm just going to pour some of the acrylic liquid in. This is what you put on top of your nail when you put the acrylic powder on. Um, but I don't want to contaminate it, so I'm going to put it inside the bowl. And then we have... We have a little brush. We have a little brush I'm gonna use to put the acrylic powder on with. And I have the acrylic powder. And I have my nail glue. And I have my acrylic tips with me. So one side is French and one side is natural acrylic tips, which is really cool. So you have the option to do a French tip or just one with like polish and natural tip. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, so one is like clear and like see-through almost like, and then the other one is all white. So I'm just gonna use the natural um, acrylic tips today because I wanna put um, the dip powder over it. I'm not sure exactly how this works, but there's directions in here and we're gonna follow directions and see how it comes out We also have a little tool here. It's like a little toothpick looking like it's like a toothpick kind of thing It pretty much um, pushes back the cuticle and cleans up underneath the nail if you need to And then we have a nail file that came in the package as well This side's the buffer and then this side's like the smoother kind of side um, so yeah, and then I'm just going to take out the dip powder as well. Ugh, so hard. And then this is the dip powder for the color. My nails are already cut down, buffed, and all that, shaped, um, so we don't have to do anything like that, but beforehand you should always make sure that you buff your nails out so it's smooth. Um, they're clean, you have all your oils off because you don't want it to get ruined. Um, so yeah, so pretty much I'm just going to go ahead and start and I'm going to pick out the size for my acrylic tips. So they all have sizes on the nails. So this one's like a size 2 so you can see like which size works best for your fingers. You want to make sure that they're not too small on your nails. You want them to be a little bit bigger on your nail so you could, you know, shape it correctly and it doesn't look too weird once everything is put together, like it doesn't look too small for your hand. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and try to find the size for each nail.
Okay guys, so now that I have all my nails put on, um, you wanna make sure that when you put your nails on, you're not putting the nail tip all the way to the bottom by the cuticle. You're just gonna put it a little bit like maybe halfway on to the nail um, because you're gonna now file and you wanna make sure that it's on there. So if you need to hold it down for a little bit to make sure it stays, you can go ahead and do that. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and file the fake nail down to my actual nail so it looks more natural. Um, you don't want to file your nail too much because you, you don't want to weaken your nails. Um, so I'm just going to file down a little bit to make it look more natural. Then I'm going to go ahead with the acrylic liquid and then dip it into the powder and then start putting on the powder. Okay, so next I'm just gonna try to cut my nails with the Q-tip. I'm with the Q-tip. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Next, I'm gonna try to cut my nails with a nail clipper. <laughs> next, I'm gonna try to cut my nails with the nail clipper. Um, you wanna be careful doing this because you don't want to crack the nail. So you just wanna go a little bit at a time to make sure that like because this is not very strong. It's kind of weak and you shouldn't really be cutting it with a nail clipper. You should be cutting it with the supply that goes like in the middle. Like you know how the nail ladies do it. They put it in the middle and then it just cuts right there. But I don't have that and the KISS package does not supply it. So we're just going to work what we have at home. Um, this will work as well. You just have to be really careful and pray it doesn't crack. Okay guys, don't be alarmed by the way the shape looks. Um, I'm just going to take a file now and shape it to the way that I want. Obviously, these are not going to come out perfectly shaped like a coffin because I am not a nail tech and I don't know how to do my nails like that. Um, but we're gonna try our best to get it to the shape that we want. So I'm just gonna file it down and then I'll show you guys how it looks after. Okay guys, so I just did my one hand. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see. So they're kind of shaped like coffins. Um, like I said, I am not a nail tech. So I did my very best. Um, I don't want to file it too much. I mean, I don't want them too long. So I think this is like a really good length. But they're going to get filed back again after we put the acrylic powder and stuff on it. So I can get the shape of the nail even better. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other set of nails and file them down off camera. And I'm going to come back and show you guys what they all look like. Okay guys, so I finished shaping my nails. This is what they look like. So they're not too bad for not being a nail tech. Um, obviously, I'm a lefty, so this hand came out a lot better than this hand. I don't know if you guys can see. Still not bad though for not being a nail tech, like I said. 
um, but we're just gonna go ahead and start putting the acrylic powder on and then after we do that stuff too we're gonna um, shape it a little bit more so they could look a little bit better than what they do um, but honestly I'm not gonna lie it's not that bad I thought they would come out a little bit worse um, but it's not that bad so I'm gonna go ahead and pour the acrylic liquid in this little bowl so we don't contaminate anything and then I'm just gonna show you guys how I do the acrylic powder on each nail guys so now I finished my nails I finished filing them and shaping them and I buffed them out um, I smooth it and now it's time to oh these this is what it looks like I don't know if you can see so yeah so they look okay they're not too bad um, <laughs> I'd rather my nail lady do it but it is what it is um, okay, so now we're just gonna use the dip powder. Um, I did read the directions on how to use this because I've never used this before. And you do need to have a base coat, a gel base coat, and then an applicator, which I don't have an applicator, so we're gonna skip that step. Hopefully it doesn't ruin it, but we'll see. But then you're gonna need a top gel coat. So I do have the base coat. This is what it looks like. That's the base coat. And then this is the top coat. Those are both gel. Um, this doesn't require you to put your hand under the light. So I'm not going to do it, but hopefully it comes out okay and it dries okay. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what to do.
so as you can see the dip powder was not it I don't know what it was maybe I was applying it wrong but I did exactly like the instruction said and it was coming out honestly disgusting so I stopped and I took it off my nails and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply regular nail polish and put on a clear coat and then I'm going to call it a day nails I've come to the realization are not for me and that's okay that's okay I'm bored in quarantine so I might as well try something but um now I'm just going to put the clear coat over the nail polish but pretty much guys um, I don't really like the nail kit that I got um, I felt like when I was trying to like smooth it out and like file it to get it like flat like it wasn't cooperating with me at all uh, oh my god it just keeps on getting better I must say um but yeah so pretty much like I feel like this was really cool to do and it really didn't turn out too too bad like it could have been worse my right my left hand is pretty tragic but my right hand isn't too shabby because that's my dominant hand i'm a lefty so my right hand came out pretty okay i did all the steps and the whole process right like i follow the directions to everything um so if you guys want to try this like i'm not knocking it i really think that you guys should try this at home It'd be fun. Maybe you guys could put some gel on top or whatever you guys have at home. Um, but right now I'm just putting on my clear coat. I'll show you guys the final result right now. And don't mind the nail polish that are around it a little. Fuck. I'm dropping everything. You guys could also take nail polish remover and like just clean up the edges because there is going to be some nail polish around it because, you know. If you're doing this yourself it's a little bit hard but it is doable so all right so this is what it looks like <laughs> don't make fun guys I tried my best look so it's not it's really not that bad it's not that bad it honestly could have been worse um so yeah that's pretty much oh my gosh I can't I can't my camera's dying too, so we're gonna end this video right here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you are going to try this at home. Let me know, send me some pictures on Instagram. It's Ariana Margarito underscore. And I wanna see if you guys tried this and let me know how your nails came out. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go subscribe to my channel. Let me know what content you guys wanna see as well. Um, I'm open to everything because I have nothing else to do and yeah, don't forget to turn on your post notification bells and Thanks for tuning in with my little nail sesh